Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're not going to be reading chapter 4 because I felt like that it was a little bit too boring. So, um, let's just do like, maybe like, like not a cringy fan fiction. Instead, let's read one that is actually pretty decent, I hope. So, let's read this one. I was thinking about reading that one, so. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. It's just like a fan fiction, I mean. It's like, I guess, crossovers, so. If this is the, um, this is the, the description. So, while hunting for a relic, the Autobots get swept into a world that shocks them. They struggle to adapt and realize they could be trapped there forever. Don't own it, okay. So, this is, a, I guess, a crossover. It's called Worlds Collide. Maybe, oh, if it was actually, like, a Prime, Transformers Prime crossover with animated, that would be pretty cool. Like, never seen that, so... This this will probably be a less, so let's just read this one. This doesn't look that bad, so... Yeah, let's get started. Alright. I don't think this is going to be that bad of a fanfiction. Some fanfiction is pretty good, but not, you know, the, not Sam's version. Not Sam's older sister, not that one. But this one seems pretty, it's just called Worlds Collide, so let's get started. Chapter 1. The relic, at least they put a description. Anyways, the thick dark clouds rolled across the sky. Thunder rumbled... In the distance, as the storm approached, the air was thick with anticipation and eerily quiet. A small town's residents took shelter in their homes to wait out the dark storm. Had any of them looked outside their windows and into the desert, had they taken the moment to gaze at an outcropping, they would have seen a figure illuminated by the first flash of lightning. It stood nearby as it watched over them, protecting them. Optimus Prime gazed at the town called Jasper. He didn't flinch or move as the first flash of lightning hit up the sky. He remained still as the thunder shook the earth beneath him. The Autobot leader simply watched the small town for a moment. He thought of the many humans that lived in the town, the ones he strongly believed needed protection from his war that now plagued their home world. He looked at the dirt for a moment and thought about the danger below that was the earth's core. Thunder shook the sky again and lightning cut through the clouds as it started to rain. The Prime thought about what happened in the past few months and how the humans had helped in some way. He smiled slightly at the thought and looked back up at the town. The humans had a strong desire and determination that reminded him of past Cybertronians. Megatron had asked him why he cared for these primitive creatures as he had called them, if only he knew. Optimus saw two people run with each other out of the rain, laughing as they did. He him. He hid himself further behind the rocks so they wouldn't see him. The Prime looked off to the horizon and smiled slightly as he thought of their human allies. He closed his optics as he felt the rain and realized this planet truly was something worth fighting for. Ratchet grumbled as another clap of thunder echoed through the race. He hated the storms, the most thing this planet had to offer. He growled again as he heard the rain start up. After a few minutes, he heard a truck drive up the tunnel. He glanced over his shoulder and saw who it was before going back to his work. Just ignore what happens. It always happens. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that, like that, it, it just always comes randomly. So back to reading. Anyways, the medic could tell he was in a better mood when he left. Having a good day? Ratchet grumbled without looking up. Another clap of thunder echoed through the base. Indeed, old friend, often said as he looked at the tunnel for a moment. I feel as though I have renewed strength to fight for those who dwell on this planet which we call home he said smiling ever so slightly the medic raised an optic ridge as he looked at the leader you got that from standing in the rain ratchet asked grumpily um i don't know I, correct me and rob but i think this his name is spelled wrong Anyways, Optimus set a hand on his shoulder and looked at him for a moment. I know it's difficult for all of us to adjust to this planet, but we must do our best for the time being, the leader said kindly. Well, it won't ever replace Cybertron, the medic grumbled as another clap of thunder echoed through the base. No, it will not, Optimus admitted as he started to walk away, but Earth makes a good home away from home, he said as he left the room. The medic looked back at the screen and listened to the rain as it hit the base. He huffed and went back to working on the computer. Next day, Optimus went over to the icon files as he tried to decode some of it. After a few minutes, the computer beeped and he narrowed his optics as he read what was decoded. The relic was not familiar to him. Ratchet, he called to the medic. Again, I think this name is misspelled. The bot was quietly teaching Raph how to read and understand Cybertronian. What is it? He mumbled without looking up. Raph was trying to figure out a particular difficult set of writing and the medic was prepared to help if he needed it. 
I am not f familiar with this particular relic, Optimus Prime replied. The medic looked up and furied his, fur furrowed his optic ridges. He told the young boy to hold on and walked over to his leader. He read the writing as optics widened. By the old spark, Ratchet gasped. I didn't think they succeeded. It was just a myth in my mind, he mumbled to stem. He typed a little to get more info. What do you what do you know about it, old friend? Optimus asked. Not much, Ratchet admitted. It's of Decepticon origin. All I remember is a rumor growing around, he chilled off as he thought for a moment. When both sides were hiding energon deposits on other worlds, some of the Decepticon scientists believed they could hide energon in different dimensions, he explained. The room was quiet for a moment. I didn't think they would actually succeed, he mumbled again. Optimus narrowed his optics as he thought about what Ratchet had said. I fear that Megatron will use his device to travel to other dimensions and destroy them in an attempt to rule them. The Prime said thoughtfully. We must retrieve this relic and destroy it if it's necessary, he said seriously. Keep it out of Megatron's hands no matter what, the medic mumbled. Optimus nodded and caught the others to return to base. After he did, he walked into the other room to retrieve some things for the missions. Ratchet, I did it, Raph said excitedly. He smiled as the Bozzy showed him the translated code. The medic looked over at him and smiled slightly as he read it. Okay, guys, that was chapter. I mean, okay. Anyways, this was chapter one of Worlds Collide. Chapter one, the relic. You know, it was pretty good. You know, it. Yes, it's a fan fiction, but it's it's actually not that bad of a fan fiction. If it's crossovers, I wouldn't mind that. So that would be cool to see Worlds crossover. And then we and you already got that in chapter one. You know, so like a little mention of it. So, anyways. Thank you all for watching this video. If you do, thanks for watching. I'll see you later and have a great day. I'll be reading chap I'll be recording chapter two sometime. I, I skipped the other story because I just didn't like it. It was too crazy. And this one's better. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.